In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we'll be learning to make this CRT TV effect and we'll be doing that in a very simple way. So, I already have a video in my project. Let me drag this towards the right side panel here so that a sequence is created with that video settings. Now, the first thing is to add some lines onto the video. In order to do that, I'll go to FX panel. If you don't find the FX panel on the right, make sure you go to window and ensure that FX is checked. Now I'll type in grid and I'll drag the grid effect onto my video. Once you do that, you can see that a grid is created and I'll change this to width and height sliders. I know that the video resolution is 1920, so I'll set the width greater than 1920, closer to 2000, and I'll move the anchor point in such a way that the vertical line is now moved outside of our video. This is fine. And I'll change the height to 3. And I'll also change the border to 3. You can see that small lines are created. I'll change the color of the lines to black. And I'll hit OK. And I'll then change the blending mode overlay. Now, you can actually see that if I zoom in, closer you can see that lines are created on the top of our footage and since we are trying to achieve the CRT TV effect these lines have to bend a little bit because you can notice that usually in a CRT TV I'll go to the FX panel now and type in lens distortion you can see that we have lens distortion effect and I'll drag this onto my video and now I'll change the curvature value to around 5 or close to 10 would be good. You can see that the lines on the top of our footage are now having some curvature effect. You can see that the lines are now curved and that is what we want. And now in order to fix the corners, I'll go to the motion and I'll scale this up a bit. The next thing is to add some color leaks to the footage. So I'll go to the effects panel and type in channel blur and I'll drag the channel blur effect onto my video. Once you do that, you can see that this effect has been added. So I'll change the red blurriness value to around 10 so that it will look something like this. And the last thing is to add the flicker effect. So I'll go to the FX panel and type in strobe light. You can see that we have the strobe light effect and I'll drag this onto my footage. Whenever you add the strobe light effect, so this is how the white flicker that comes in randomly. So I'll change the blend width original to 95 and I'll set the strobe duration to 1 and I'll set this to make layer transparent and I'll change the strobe operator add. Also, I'll set the random seed to 5, the random seed probability around 30. Let me render this and show how it is looking now. So, if I start playing the video, you can see that we have this CRT TV effect with some strobe lights added onto the top. And that is what we need. However, depending on your requirement, we can also Go to the Lumetri color and do some necessary color correction. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up and see you guys next time with another tutorial.